Hey guys, it's Daryl here from eFlex Fuel. In today's video, we're going to be installing the eFlex Pro Kit into a 21 Hellcat Charger Red Eye. After we install the kit, we're going to take it to the dyno and get a full-blown horsepower check on it. This here is Mopar's iconic 6.2 liter supercharged engine. As you can see here, everything is stock. We're going to be installing the eFlex Pro Kit. The main benefits of running our eFlex Fuel system is that you're able to run E85 safely within your vehicle. Now what that means for you is that you're able to have more power, you're able to have more boost, it's cooler and cleaner fuel for your engine, and it's higher octane. So full benefits coming your way. Here is our eFlex Pro Kit. It's a patented piggyback system that's fully automatic. What that means is you could run E85, gas, or any blend of them all. There's no switching between any tunes or any maps because everything is done fully automatic. What we have here is a complete vehicle specific kit with everything included for the installation. We verify your fuel system compatibility for E85 and it comes with an app and tuning software. Here's everything included inside the box. It comes with the control unit, ethanol sensor, vehicle specific wiring harness, comes with some connectors, as well as some fuel line and some fuel line connectors. Now it's time for the fun part, the installation. Here's a quick breakdown of how it's gonna happen. First, you're gonna connect the ethanol sensor into the fuel line. Second, you're gonna connect the wiring harness into the fuel injector. Third, you're gonna plug the harness into the control unit. From there, you're able to run 85 safely within a vehicle. Let's go. Before you get started on the install, some key points is to make sure that your engine is well maintained and it's in normal operating condition. It's very important that your engine is cool to the touch. Make sure your vehicle is completely shut off and you remove the keys from the vehicle. Ensure that nobody opens the door because it can prime the fuel pump. Here are the tools needed for the installation. Solder iron, hose cutter, a multimeter, an assortment of hand tools, gloves, rags, zip tie, and a tape measure. To begin the installation, we're gonna remove the covers to gain access to the fuel line and fuel injectors. Now that the covers have been removed, it's time to install the ethanol sensor. The main purpose of the ethanol sensor is to track the ethanol content blend in the fuel. Because we're installing the ethanol sensor to the fuel line, on these Hellcats, you must release the relief pressure valve. This depresses the fuel in the system. Now that the fuel system has been depressurized, it's time to locate the fuel line. Best way to locate it is to follow the fuel rail. On these Hellcats, it's going to be on the passenger side. Included in this kit is a half inch fuel line disconnecting tool. When disconnecting the fuel line, take your time with the step. We're now measuring and cutting the fuel line that's supplied in the kit to the direct fitment of the Hellcat. From what we measured is 16 inches on one side and 13 on the other. Once the fuel line has been properly cut and measured, we're gonna create a custom fuel line with the ethanol sensor connected. The hose clamps are secured with a 7mm socket or a flathead screwdriver. Make sure it's a snug fit. On the other side of the 16-inch hose, 
you're gonna use the smaller straight end adapter. Once the hose clamp has been tightly secured, take one side of the ethanol sensor and clip it in to the straight end adapter. Between the two 90 degree connectors, you're gonna take the smaller connector and connect it to the shorter hose. Once that has been finished, connect the final piece and make sure that everything is tightened down. Take the longer side of the hose with the ethanol sensor and connect it directly to the fuel rail. Ensure it clicks. On the shorter hose, connect the straight end to the original fuel line. Position the shorter hose in between the coolant line and the fuse box. ensure that the click locks in the ethanol sensor to the adapter. At the end of this process, make sure you tidy up the hose by either zip tying it or taping it down. Now that we're done with the ethanol sensor, we will now be moving on to installing the wiring harness. From there, you want to locate the fuel injectors. Next, you want to release the red locking clips. You can make this process easier by using a hook tool or some needle nose pliers. Next, remove the plug from the injectors. You can use your fingers or some needle nose pliers. Now that the injector harness has been unplugged, it's time to check the polarity. To do this, you'll need a multimeter. Set the multimeter to continuity mode where it beeps. The way to measure this is to take the red wire and plug it into one side of the injector. Then take the black wire and plug it on the same side of a separate injector. If it beeps, or shows movement on the multimeter, then this is the side that our red wire is connected to. If the multimeter doesn't beep, then that's the wrong side. Make sure to check all eight injectors. Now that the polarity has been checked, it's time to install the wiring harness. There's two wiring harnesses provided in the kit. We will start with the main wiring harness. You can distinguish the main wiring harness by the orange plug. Remember that the red wire connects directly to the side that the multimeter was beeping. Test fit the male connector to help determine which side the red wire would need to be connected. It is important that the wire is in the correct position when sliding through the male connectors. Make sure that the wire is pulled all the way through until it clicks. Ensure that all the wires are connected the same way.
The second harness included in the kit are the extension wires. These range up to eight cylinders. We will now plug the extensions into the main harness so that I could read all eight injectors. Same as the main harness, you want to connect the red wire to the side where it beeps. At this stage, once all the male connectors are connected to the extension wires correctly, you can now connect the extension wires to the main harness. The harness is now ready to be plugged into the fuel injectors. Make sure that these are snug fit. So now that we have connected the wiring harness on both sides, we will now place the temperature sensor nearby the engine block. It's the wire with the orange tip. Once the temperature sensor has been placed, we will now install the ground wire. It's important to mount it on bare metal. To remove the bolt, use a 10 mm wrench or socket. On these Hellcats, there's a specific mounting point for the ground wire. The brown plug on the harness connects directly to the ethanol sensor. Listen for the click. This is the control unit. It has Bluetooth connectivity. We will now connect it to our wiring harness and start the car to test if everything is operating correctly before we finalize the installation. The Pro Kit is supplied with two analog wires. These wires can be connected to the vehicle's own or external sensors. The gray wire supplied is not necessary to install on this Hellcat. We use a soldering iron to solder in the white wire to the map sensor. Now that the installation has been complete, start the car up and connect to the app. As you can see from the app, everything has been connected properly. You can see that all the injector activity is on, the ethanol percentage is reading, and the duty cycle reads in real time. Since we soldered in that white wire, you could check the pro view as well. Now that we have confirmed that everything is working properly, we're gonna tidy up the wires and secure the fuel line. Now that we're done, we could finally take this vehicle to the dyno to see what kind of horsepower it gains on E85.